Hello and welcome to this Sysdiv Byte. In this Sysdiv Byte we are going to throw through how we find experimental substitutes for the human body and it will be included, we'll go through mechanical, biological as well as where this can go in the future. How do we experiment on the human body? We experiment on the human body using surrogates. Surrogates are mechanical in nature or have been for the past time such as the car crash test dummy you can see on the screen or examples of materials that are similar to humans like plastics. However there is another option which is animal tissue or organic gelatins like you see in programs such as Mythbusters where they use pigs to simulate the human body or when you're dealing with gunshot wounds you use ballistics gelatin to see how the body is going to respond. We use a range of different tests from compression to tension to loading in multiple access to also loading in conditions where we control the temperature or the humidity any way for us to learn the maximum about about the material. However, the image we show a tension test. Now, when we get our test results, which can you see in the graph shown here, we can plot the kind of material properties, which in this case we'll use a material law such as Hooke's law, and from this we'll be able to create a model which we then can compare with actual human tissue. What this means for the future is that we aim to develop a hybrid surrogate that you can use both organic and inorganic materials that will be the best representation possible of a physical human body. This will allow us to do the most amount of testing and record the most amount of data. The final aim of this within SysDib is to be able to use these material properties and create an electronic virtual human which we can create using images from patients so it most accurately represents the human body and allows us to do a myriad of tests that we couldn't do otherwise. Thank you for listening for this to this Sysdiv info byte. If you have any questions at all, please contact us on the details you see at the bottom of this slide and hope to see that you understand a little bit more about what we do in terms of research at Sysdiv.